Hey, this is in response to uh, Wagon John's bead challenge. Um, <laughs> I just got them watching Lynn Cooley's uh, challenged bead challenge. Well, but you're nowhere near as challenged as I am for beads. <laughs> uh, the only ones I have are gifted beads except for one. And we'll get to that in a minute, but uh, these are a few that I got from Pestle Man, um, and I believe this was part of my um, Secret Santa gift. But we've got some uh, Russian Reds, got a few of those, and then I think these here are. I believe he said these are Russian whites. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm trying to remember. Uh, I don't have my paper out here. And then uh, got a couple of these. I'm having pause problem. This dog on camera I had to have part of it fixed and. It just don't work the way it used to, but I think it still works. But this is a quartz bead from out of the desert. Got a couple of those. And uh, I cannot for the life of me remember what this one is, but it's a rusty caramel colored brown. But, uh... I remember these are, oops, Hudson Bay beads, which are a trade bead. They're pretty cool. And then, uh, well, as soon as I find that one, it's rolling around on the floor. It's a, a quartzy looking bead of some sort, and uh, it's a reddish color. But those are the ones I got from, uh, from old PM 1951. Then uh, over on this side, we've got some uh, split punched Olivella's, um, black steatite bead, and I uh, can't remember what that little guy is right there. Oops. And then we got a an Olivella, which is ground on the end, so that the hole can be accessed, or so it can have a hole. <laughs> Then uh, I just received these not too long ago from from Pa, and I guess I made a smart aleck enough comment on his video, and he sent them to me and told me you count them. But I've got some white walls in here, which are the split punched Alabella. Got some uh, steatite. Um, got some, I believe the black ones are muscle shell, and uh, I can never get over how little some of these beads are. That thing is so tiny, and I think this one here is a ground olivella. I mean, it looks like it on that end. Yeah, it's got to be. And a big old white wall there. I believe some of these are muscle shells. But uh, I'm really proud of what beads I do have because around uh, southern Ohio or southwestern Ohio, 
you don't see too much of that going on. But uh, some of them are pretty sweet. And the only one that I've ever found, uh, I was actually metal detecting with Crazy Flint. And we were in a field that uh, I found a Civil War button. And then I kept getting this crazy hit, and all I was seeing was dirt. And uh, I just kept sifting through the dirt and sifting through it in my hand and dropping a little bit out. But uh, here finally I seen this little ball of dirt, and it was actually beeping with the metal detector. So... I know this thing ain't focusing for crap, but there it is. It's a little rolled copper bead, and that's the only bead I have ever found. So that was pretty cool. But that's the total extent of my bead collection and challenge. So. Uh, Alrighty, I figured as embarrassing as it was, I would go ahead and stick it in there anyhow. Here's a cool little shell I found on a dig site. I believe that's punched right there. And this whole thing is just ground like crazy all the way around the edges. So... Yeah, I dug that out um, in a Ford ancient site. But, anyhow, that's what I got as far as beads go. Alright, thanks for looking. I hope to see you soon with some artifacts. Bye now.